Hello and welcome to my video. This is a short video on paint stripping on RC bodies, um, solid bodies, not the transparent type. This is a Bear Hawk original body shell. Um, now I read something on the one of the Tamiya pages that, that made me curious really because I this is the stuff I use to strip paint off the body shells. Yeah. It's isotone. Um yeah it does damage plastic but you're not leaving it to soak. You simply brush it on, you put it in a plastic container. Now this is a this is for chemicals so they don't melt but you pour about half a cup of this and then you simply <clears throat> brushing it on brushing it on and as you brush it on you the brush actually moves the paint you can actually see the brush moving the paint that's how quick and, and easy it is uh, and then you simply rinse it in water um, you maybe have to do that about six times um, depending on how much paint you've got and then you take one of these sc scrubbers that you usually use for pans and things like that and then you, you, you lightly wipe it with that not deep just lightly wipe it um, and that's the end result um, there's no damage to the body as you can see there's no melting, there's no nothing, there's no, it is what it is, um, and it works, it takes all the paint off, I mean this had, this had been painted numerous times, um, so you got paint on top of paint on top of paint, uh, and it works fine, um, you do not soak plastic uh, with this, because eventually it will melt it, um, but a quick rinse um, is fine, you know, brush it on, rinse it off, and it's as simple as that. Um, now, I sometimes use car paint, I sometimes use Tamiya paint, it depends on what colour I'm wanting and, and, and whatever. But if I'm using um, car paint, I get some of this, which is plastic. Um, plastic primer it's transparent so you can't really see it um, when it dries and that helps the paint stick to your car uh, and you get a really good um, result but that's it I mean just brush it on rinse it off um, when you are dealing with any kind of chemicals you always have to rubber gloves uh, safety goggles you name it and you know whatever's best for you for your safety um and that's it really and that's how i strip i can't i'm not saying that's how you should strip it but that's how i do it but i'm simply doing this video because the guy on one of the uh, tamiya pages yesterday that said oh no don't don't use acetone it, it, it damages and melts your car well that just proves it it doesn't you know um if it did, I wouldn't use it. Um, and when I when I comment or, or put anything on or review anything, it is what it is. I don't pretend it's anything else different to what it is. Um, there might be something out there that, that, that's better, um, but I doubt it's quicker. Um, I did this in about literally 20 minutes. Um, and there were no overnight soaking, there were no hours, just straight 20 minutes. And it was done. Uh, that was going to be painted. Um, and back on the car. So that's that. So, gloves, goggles, if you're going to be using it, because it is nasty stuff. Um, but it does work, it does do the job. Um, but like I said, don't soak. Just straight brush on, rinse off. Um, 
you can see it working as, as you're using it um, that's how good it is all right thanks so much for watching and uh, please like and watch my other videos cheers